How can a key marketing principle help you become a more impactful presenter? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. One of the most important marketing and selling ideas I've ever learned early in my career was the concept of going narrow and deep in my marketing as opposed to wide and shallow. What does that mean? Well, the person who is wide and shallow is someone who presents themselves as a, as a jack of all trades. That's the individual who says, oh, I, I'll work with anyone to help them with any aspect of their business. What does that mean? I can't help you if I'm going to refer business to you, for example, if you tell me you work with anybody. Does that mean you work with a, a mom and pop or an, a solopreneur and also a $50 billion corporation? There's no distinction. If you say you work on any aspect of business, does that mean accounting, marketing, sales, manufacturing, production, HR? No, it doesn't tell me anything. The person who tends to be most successful with marketing is the individual who can be specific about the type of person that she works with and specific about the type of work he does. For example, one aspect of my marketing is now that I work with CEOs and high-level executives to help them become more confident and influential presenters. I'm specific about who I'm working with and also about what I provide. Notice I didn't say I'm a business coach or a personal coach or a life coach. I specifically help you with presentations. But what does this have to do with speaking? When you're giving a presentation, we've talked about this before, I, I call it the Chinese buffet effect. We overload our audiences with too much information, so they walk away feeling stuffed and they don't know what to do. Be narrow and deep with your presentations. For example, a key aspect of presentations is storytelling. If I go into an organization and give a keynote, for example, I might talk about two or three keys to effective storytelling. There are many more that I coach on but I don't overload them, I stay very focused, I go deep into that topic. I might talk about creating relatable circumstances with likable characters. That may be all I have time to talk about. If, I've give, if I'm given more time, I might add one or two other aspects, but I don't go into the whole gamut of storytelling in one talk, it's too much. But I am focused in that area. When you get feedback on your next presentation, ask people, am I too broad, am I too generic? or I'm a, a specific. Do you know exactly what my topic is and how I can make your life better? Go narrow and deep and you'll have a much greater impact on your next audience. Talk to you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. <music>